Chapter 1 All Because of Lunchbox You are listening at FameTV.com Edited by a Ballistic Bunny, I'm sorry, but what we need here is a graduate student. Sorry, I sympathize with you. Can you speak English? What? Even basic English is lacking. Splendid, now turn around, turn left, and please go out from our back door. Just a graduate. No work experience. Sorry, we need someone with at least two years of work experience. Qin Chao came home with a pained expression after interviewing with numerous companies. He was wandering in the street like a zombie. This time was very late at night. But although he had ran the whole day, without exception, each and every company rejected him. Speaking of which, this is indeed a tragedy. When he was born, he was called Qin Shou. TL. Show equals suffer, his father meant for him to keep this name until he graduated from elementary school. But, his name was forcibly changed by his mother to Qin Chao because she did not like what other people always called her, which was, Qin Shou's mom. After spending four years at a third-rate college, Qin Chao was thwarted at every turn. He could not even find a suitable job. After graduation, he stayed in the Suzhou city. Far away from home. Having not accomplished anything, Qin Chao did not want to go back to take over his father's small cell phone business. Oh God, please give me a job. Qin Chao's wailing sound was heard on the dark street corner. The previously dark window from surrounding residents suddenly turned bright. Who is this piece of shit? Shouting randomly in the middle of the night. Where is the dog, quickly go back home. Don't let people sleep at night. Here, eat this old lady's foot. Washing water. Right after this, came hissing sound. Poor Qin Chao, all of his body down to his shoes are now dripping wet. This grandma. This late into autumn, the splashing water made Qin Chao feel like he was in the North Pole. Especially, the taste of this foot washing water. Holy crap, these feet didn't wash at least a month. Who is it? Acting with no conscience. Wet and smelly, Qin Chao was angry and suddenly yelled. At the same time he curses, without knowing from which window, a black face suddenly flew out. Bang. It hit straight on Qin Chao's head. It was as if he was brutally beaten with a stick. Qin Chao's eyes became blurred. While he was clutching his blood that soaked head, he became weak and fell onto the ground. At this time, a black smoke suddenly came out of the broken vase and flew into Qin Chao's body. Aya, that's the Song Dynasty vase that I found in the antique market. At this time, on the upper part of a tall building. An old man pulled his naughty little grandson and started swatting his grandson's ass. Asterisk Qin Chao's body began to talk to himself. After being in captivity for more than 1,000 years, I finally came back. This man turned out to be a natural-born devil's body. <laughs> the time for me, Luoda to shine once again is soon to come. All of you stinky priests just wait, I'll soon get my revenge on you. Looking down, that Qin Chao then climbed up slowly from the ground. At this time, his eyes emitted green rays of light that appeared very strange in the dark of night. It was as if it came from the ghosts and demons of hell. Just as he was going to start slaughtering using the souls of the dead as his energy source, a white ray of light suddenly flew into the sky. Not good, it's the people from the zoo sect, at present, I was just resurrected. My soul is still unstable. I better hide first. This Qin Chao snorted. The green light in his eyes immediately disappeared. His body went limp again and then tumbled to the ground. A girl in a long white gown unexpectedly appeared in the sky. She was beautiful like an immortal. Her feet was stepping on the treasured sword that was wandering in the surrounding sky. It's strange. I definitely feel that devil Luoda's breath in this neighborhood, the girl wrinkled her beautiful arched eyebrows, saying, if I let that old devil, Luoda, be born. It would indeed lead to a reign of terror. No, I have to go back and report it. After that, the girl pulled out her sword, stood on it, then immediately turned into a meteor, disappeared into the darkness. After the girl departs, Qin Chao's eyes flickered not long after that. He slowly woke up. Fuck, it hurts. 
Qin Chao's consciousness appeared to return. While he touching his head, Qin Chao slowly got up. But, unexpectedly he can't find any trace of a wound from the vase. Weird, is my head made from iron? Qin Chao mumbles as he takes a look at the broken vase on the ground. After that, he touched his growling belly, anyway. I better find something to fill this stomach. Qin Chao, with a dirty face, walks step by step back to his apartment. After he graduated from college, Qin Chao has been in the Suzhou city for four or five months. In order to keep the family not worried, he said to his family that he has a good job. Therefore, Qin Chao has been trying hard to ration his parents' remaining allowance. If he can't find a job in less than three days, Qin Chao will starve in the streets. His rent has been late for half a month. The landlord asks him for money every day. To that end, Qin Chao can only put out a debt letter. This life, it's better just to finish it clean by slicing a knife on the neck. Most of the nights, Qin Chao belly is always hungry. He had to stop to buy the cheapest food available, then casually looked for a park, sat on a bench, and began to enjoy his cheap dinner. At this time, Qin Chao suddenly heard the sound of some melodious voice that rang on and off. This type of sound often appears in many JAV. Japanese adult video, Qin Chao immediately understood. The place that he casually stumbled upon, unexpectedly, is a lover's rendezvous place. This guy cannot help but lament at being a bachelor. He could not help but sigh. While holding the food dot box, he became more and more unbearably lonely. At this moment, a couple, who wore very fashionable outfits, and was doing a public display of affection, walked in front of him. Little brother, give me face and provide us with this place, okay? The man wore gold dot rimmed glasses, a suit, and leather shoes. He looks like a second dot generation rich kid. There was a woman in his arms. Although she was pretty, she had eyes that looked at him with despise. Qin Chao quickly realized that he was being looked down upon because of his unkempt appearance. Before Qin Chao was able to respond, seeing the food dot box in his hand, that glasses man laughed. I say, dude, don't eat this. Looking at your appearance, you must be unemployed right? No car, no house, and no girlfriend. Otherwise, you would not be eating only a couple of vegetarian dishes. Young people must eat healthy food. Here, I'll give you 100 yuan. KFC, McDonald's, eat whatever you want. Eat until you vomit. How about that? Then, the man pulled out his wallet, drew a piece of red paper from it, and threw it on top of Qin Chao lap. That's only 100. You must consider that too little. Here, I give you another 200. In any case, my man doesn't need it. He's rich. The female with an extremely slender waist said that while taking the wallet from her man and pulled out a couple more red papers. Depressed, Qin Chao pushed out the red papers and stood up while holding his food dot box. This money is for you to spend, keep it. After hearing that, Qin Chao started to leave. At that time, a shadow suddenly jumped out from behind. My husband, are you here? My husband. Qin Chao was somewhat dizzy. When he turned his head back, his eyes suddenly lit up. A beauty. An absolutely super gorgeous beauty. Under a beautiful red hair, resided a perfectly small oval face. Her eyes were big, with a little hint of blue. It was unclear if it was because of a contact lens or the result of mixed blood. Thin frame glasses laid on top of her lovely nose, which made her beauty even more elegant. Her luscious red lips are very sexy. It was so hot that even Qin Chao couldn't help but want to take a bite. Her body is also extremely proportional. Just her chest alone could make Qin Chao's mouth drool. After sizing her up, he estimated that her chest was definitely a D+. It could even be called a biological weapon. The girl's soft white thighs were giving Qin Chao's senses even more stimulation. He wanted to pick up that pair of legs and carry them on his shoulders. Did you, did you call me? Qin Chao felt silly. This incredibly beautiful woman cannot possibly have any relations with him. While holding the lunchbox, he stared straight at that beauty. 
Oh, darling, don't joke. That beauty approached, then held onto Qin Chao's arm. Qin Chao can even feel that beauty's soft breast. I have only one husband, and that's you. Who else could it be? The couple next to them almost became green with envy. Especially, the woman. She can see that the woman in front of her is an astounding beauty. But, the woman turned out to be a poor man's wife. That almost make her spit blood. That rich guy was also jealous of them. On his average face, the eyes flashed a hint of lewdness. What a fine bitch, it must be good to ride her on top of my crotch, or, just occasionally playing with another man's wife. That's also splendid. In his eyes, with his money, no beauty can resist her. Beauty. My name is Yang Xu, chairman of Yang's Building Materials Group. Please accept my invitation. I invite you to go to a French restaurant for dinner. Who cares? The beautiful woman rolled her eyes, making this chairman Yang Xu became awkward. He was unable to extricate himself, husband, let me eat your food. Box. I am hungry. With that, she immediately grabs Qin Chao's food. Box. Stop running. Damn, that smelly bitch. At this time, several ferocious hoodlums emerged from the wood. When they saw the beauty, their eyes suddenly lit up. It's her, grab her. Damn, she dares to hit me. A dyed blonde hair man, who was touching the palm print on his face, angrily said. When the rich guy saw this scene, he suddenly turned around and ran away. His girlfriend was also alarmed and went to chase her boyfriend. That beauty pressed her body to Qin Chao's arm and sheepishly said. Husband, they bully me. This man is your husband. When the few hoodlums suddenly saw Qin Chao, their face suddenly looked somewhat vicious. It is good that your husband appears here. Damn bitch, look how I'm going to fuck you in front of your husband. A hoodlum swore dirty words and rushed over. Qin Chao was startled. He became crazy mad. He shoved the beauty away and used wild ass, but dot style, to try to hit that hoodlum. Damn, you dare to fight back. That young hoodlum pulled out a bicycle chain from the bosom. He was about to hit Qin Chao right in the face. Qin Chao is an otaku. So, he never knew how to fight. That wild dot ass, but dot style he showed before was only relying on courage. The hoodlum chains suddenly appeared on his face. I had that beauty behind him was shocked. She shouted out in panic. She picked up the food dot box and started throwing everything inside, vegetable, garlic, rice and all of it, toward the young hoodlum, to keep him away from hitting Qin Chao, making the hoodlum back away several steps. While half of his face were burning with pain, Qin Chao started to lost consciousness. He reached out to touch his face. He immediately felt a trace of blood. Blood, it tasted similar to chicken blood. Qin Chao's body suddenly shivered. He began to feel something awaken inside his body because of that smell of blood. A strong desire to kill filled his heart. The hoodlum was startled. He suddenly felt the murderous look that came from Qin Chao. His heart pounded fast and hard. He can't help but hold the chain tight in his hand. Motherfucker. Want to act like Stallone in front of me? He began to move the chain again and started pounding Qin Chao's head. Go to hell. Stimulated by blood, Qin Chao was full of anger this time. He reached out his hand and suddenly snatched the incoming chain. Meanwhile, another hand grabbed that hoodlum's neck and pressed that hoodlum to the ground. Finally, his foot started kicking the hoodlum's chest, making the hoodlum unable to breathe and pass out. Qin Chao's fight, this time, was completely relied on brute force and blood. Using these, he was able to put down that bully. This time, the second man also rushed over. With a brick in his hand, he repeatedly hit Qin Chao's head. With a loud thud, that brick broken into several pieces. Qin Chao's soul is trembling with pain. But, in the eyes of the hoodlums, Qin Chao, with a bloody head and green eyes, was staring at them. That hoodlum cannot help but started to tremble. He felt as if he was being watched by a beast. Go to hell, Qin Chao suddenly moved and punched him. 
Qin Chao hit him right on his jaw. The sound of broken bones can clearly be heard. That hoodlum was already lied on the ground. The rest of the hoodlums, seeing this scene, were already felt scared. At this time, Qin Chao's face is full of blood. His eyes are green. He looked like a ghost that came out from hell. Murder. That hoodlum began to shout hysterically. He then ran away as fast as possible and vanished without a trace. Uh. Finally beat them. At this time, the supernatural power that Qin Chao had suddenly dispersed, making his whole body weak. He then slumped to the ground. Qin Chao started to feel a splitting headache. It was throbbing, again and again. Although he was able to beat the hoodlums, at this time, a bigger crisis came to him. An evil laughter reverberated in his ear. You go to hell. When you die, this devil body will be mine. That sounds became noisier, making Qin Chao had the feeling of nausea and vomiting. Imagine if a lot of people shouting incessantly in your ears. Soon, you will also have this feeling of vomiting. Right at this moment, he was saved by that beauty. She came closer to him and gently patted his shoulder. My name is Su Ji, thank you for saving me, that beauty didn't know. When she was in contact with Qin Chao, the prayer beads on her wrist started to shine. Then, a warm force went all over Qin Chao's body. This makes his body comfortable, it feels as if his body was being stimulated. The sound of howling ghosts seemed to be suppressed by the power of the prayer beads. At this time, Qin Chao awareness started to fight back. It was as if his soul and another shadow intertwined. And then, there was shouting in his mind, followed by the tearing sound. The shadow was completely ripped off from him. Finally, the consciousness of the old devil soul dissipated from Qin Chao. Hearing Qin Chao's voice, that beauty blushed. One could fry an egg on her face. At this time, after passing the cataclysm, Qin Chao's spirit was thoroughly spent. He finally collapsed on the floor, completely lost his consciousness. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.